Hi, today we are going to be talking about systems of measurement and specifically we're going to be converting systems of measurement. So the first system we're going to talk about is the US system, which consists of things like inches, feet, uh, yards, I'm sure you're familiar with it. So our first problem is that Marianne is 66 inches tall and we want to convert this to her height in feet. When we do a problem like this, it's easiest to write out with the labels of our um, units here, so 60 inch, 6 inches, then we're going to multiply it by 1 foot. And we know that 1 foot is equivalent to 12 inches. So the important thing to remember here is that we are going to be going like the opposite, the top and the bottom should be the same unit here. So we have 66 inches to 1 foot and we're trying to get, convert this all into feet. So this is going to be the same as saying 66 inches times one foot over 12 inches. And we can think of this as the inches cancel each other out. So now this is equal to 66 feet over 12, which is just equal to 5.5 feet, okay? Let's do another example. Juliet is going with her family on vacation. She'll be away for nine weeks. Convert the time to minutes. Now we've got quite a few more things to actually convert here. So if Juliet is going to be gone for nine weeks, and we want to convert that to inches, we're going to say that nine weeks, and you can always just put this over one, all right, is equal to, well, then we want to say that one week is equal to seven days, right? We're going to go to the next smallest unit of measurement. And then that one day, notice how these are this opposite, right? Opposite, opposite. One day is equal to 24 hours. And one hour is equal to 60 minutes. So finally, I have the unit that I want, which is minutes. So I can cross out the units that have that are going to cancel each other, hours, days, weeks. So then I can just multiply this. I get 9 times, oops, times 7 times 24 times 60, and that's all over 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which we know is just going to be 1. So this ends up equaling 90,720 minutes. Okay? Let's do a few more. How many fluid ounces are in one gallon of milk? Okay, so the first thing that we want to say, and um, in the textbook online there are some conversion charts, but I'll try to bring some to class too so that we can use those. So one gallon over one, one gallon is equal to four quarts, and one quart is equal to two pints. And one pint is equal to two cups. And one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. And fluid ounces are what we're trying to find. So this is going to be equal to one times four times two times two times eight over one times one times one times one times one. Because cups, pints, quarts, gallons all cancel out. And when we multiply this together, we get 128 fluid ounces, okay? Here, Charlie bought three steaks. Their weights were 14 ounces, one pound, two ounces, and one pound, six ounces. How many total pounds of steak did he buy? Okay, so now we need to actually do a little bit more math in here. The first thing we're gonna do is add these up. So we're gonna have 14 ounces plus one pound, two ounces, plus one pound, six ounces, okay? We add those, we're gonna get two pounds, 22 ounces. Well, we wanna be able to convert this 22 ounces into pounds and ounces. So uh, we're going to add this up, one second. So we know that there are 16 ounces in a pound, so we can basically subtract that out, right, 16. And if we take 22 minus 16, we're going to get six. So this 16 ounces now becomes one pound, right? So this is going to be equal to three pounds, 
six ounces of steak. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. That's US Systems, but their next video is going to have the metric system. Okay, see you then.